Yo guys, what's going on? Thanks for coming back to another episode of EV Music. And today we're gonna be taking a look at how we can create virtual instruments and how we do that. One of the ways we can do that is create something called a sound font. Now sound fonts are kind of what they sound like. They're fonts but for sounds. So you know the fonts on your computers, like Comic Sans, everybody loves Comic Sans. And sound fonts are just the same. You got your good old sound fonts, like the general MIDI sound font. Everybody loves those classics, but anyway, we're gonna be creating a grand piano sound font, or at least kind of hacking one of our apps to get it to play from this sound font. So enjoy. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I downloaded our previous project from the previous video onto my computer. You can download it again from my GitHub under the releases. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that file in our downloads, and we're just gonna get the project set up inside of Xcode. You wanna make sure you have the latest version of Xcode. And we're gonna get that thing set up so we can just build it and it works with what our current setup is. So this is a big mess. I don't know how we can just get it so it just shows the Xcode file. We, now we got the Xcode, we're gonna just go ahead and open it. Okay, so what we need to do now is kind of annoying. We need to hook up all the IV outlets. Again, it's kind of a inefficient way to do this, but it's what we gotta do, so. I'm gonna go ahead and, and go to the view controller. Nope, I want this to be the view controller. So click on there. This one should be the view controller and then this one should be my storyboard. Kind of difficult. There we go. And now we're gonna select all of these I believe this one is 56. So it starts out with 56. You're just gonna control click. And then once it looks like that blue box, just go ahead, oh. And it looks like all of these are already connected. Let's make sure. Here's a good way we can double check. Yep, this one's 56. This one's 62. So it looks like all of those outlets are connected. If they're not connected, just go ahead and look at your number. See the button number right here and just make sure you connect it to the right one, okay? Alrighty, so it looks like our project is building at this point. If not, just leave your error or whatever you're getting in the comments below if you have trouble and I'll try my best to help you. but. You should be at this point having your project working. So at this point, we should take a look at our sound font file for this and see what it's currently doing. So what we can see here is we have four levels of different sounds. So the files starting with zero are gonna be your very soft sounds. And then the files starting with three are gonna be your really loud sounds. And then each of these are pulling from all of the samples that we have loaded in so you can see sample equals zero a4 so this is kind of how this file is working as it's taking all of these samples and we're going to pick from those and you'll notice the ones that start with zero they're pretty soft here let me unplug my headphones so you guys can hear that so those ones soft and then let's go to like say one a4 where's one a4 there it is so a little bit louder, and then 2A4, a little bit louder, and then the threes, we don't have all of the threes. But the point is here, I don't really have time today since I'm kind of in school right now to set up a sound font, but what we're just gonna do for today is kind of sort of hack our current sounds, kind of replace them with the, the sounds we got from this the piano sound font that we have downloaded here. Yes, this salamander, we're just gonna kind of pull the samples from here and sort of put them into our current project so we can just 
hear what it's kind of going to sound like. But in the next video after this, we're going to go through some of those opcodes and kind of our goal is to develop our own kind of sound font handler where we can put these sound font files into our sampler and sort of use them how we want. All right, so right now I am in the sample folder of our sound font, the Grand Piano one with all of the different sounds in it. And just as we discussed here, the number preceding the, the note name in this file, this file name determines what the dynamic is. So it's the same kind of deal here with our, with our sound font, our Grand Piano one, except it's actually determined by this V number. So this V6 is going to be a little bit quieter if we just play that than this V16, which is a little bit louder, so we can tell by that. So this V6 right here is about the same loudness as our, our A40 here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rename this to 0A4, and let's find the A5 version of that. And I'm just gonna rename this to 0A5, all right? And then we're gonna get rid of these guys. We're just gonna go ahead and delete, move to trash. And then let's check this out. Do we have an A sharp? No, we do not have an A sharp. So what we have to do for that is you have to use some external software. I know Audacity is free, but I'm gonna be using Ableton, which costs money, but you can definitely do this with Audacity. Um, where you can just repitch the sample and once you repitch it then you can just load in that sample as um, in the place of this A sharp. But if you guys don't want to do all that I'm gonna link all these samples in the description so and you won't have to do anything pay anything you can just download them off the github link that I leave so you can go ahead and do that and then you don't have to worry about all this pitch conversion stuff, renaming if you don't want to. You can just skip ahead. All right, all right, all right. So it took me a little bit of time, but you guys get the idea. The different samples with the different numbers mean different dynamics, and you have to pitch shift the notes that we don't already have. So I did all that for you guys, so you can download it at this link, which is what I'm going to do. Actually... It's not this, it's the, um, if you go to release tag version 1.5, that should be the piano samples, and go ahead and download it. I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can download it for yourself. So now that we have this downloaded, we can go ahead, open it up, and it should have a folder like this. And now, our Xcode project, we're just going to, delete this samples folder, and then put this one inside of it. Just like that. And now we should have our piano samples. Yep, so those are our piano ones. Let's go ahead, build it, and see what happens. All right, so I actually noticed a problem with this when I tried to build and run this as it is right now no sound came out, and I think that's because it's Xcode is having trouble importing our samples. So what we have to do is actually, I'm gonna go ahead and delete our samples folder that we just created. And what I'm gonna do is create a group within Xcode. So I'm gonna do new group, and then samples is what we'll call it, just like it was. And here's the difference here. We're gonna go inside of here, command A, and then we're gonna put all of those under this samples directory, just like that. And you notice the difference that this folder is yellow instead of that blue folder, and I think that's the key thing here. So now if we build and run this, it should work.
And there you have it, guys. It appears that our app is now playing from our sound font. Well, our samples that we put in there. Next episode, we're going to be actually figuring out how to make our own sound font and create something that can read that. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.